Hi, in the following lessons I will show you how to use Unity CI system with the Oculus Rift. Generally, we should distinguish between screen-based and world-based graphical user interfaces. Screen-based displays always stay in the same position relative to the screen, for example the bullet count in a shooting game at the top left of the screen. However, on-screen user interfaces in virtual reality don't always feel right. It is often better to integrate the user interface into your game as much as possible, for example by displaying the bullet count directly on the gun as if it was really there. Think about it, nobody in real life runs around with a wall of displayed information in front of him. World-based UI elements enable us to work around that, as they have a real position in the scene. They are not drawn to the screen directly and rather behave and feel like any other game object in the scene. This also allows us to apply some nice tricks to our menu like smooth following. This feels a lot better than having the UI precisely follow the player's head movements, which can be disorienting. In virtual reality, we have to adjust the traditional way of input. Usually the player would rather use a gamepad than a mouse in virtual reality. We could both use screen and world-based user interfaces if we have access to the keyboard or to the gamepad. On the other hand, we might want to select UI elements and trigger actions by simply looking at it. In this case, we are restricted to the world-based UI, as we couldn't look at a specific UI item if the whole user interface would follow the player's head movements. In the following lessons, we will see how to display information on the screen, how to create a screen-based as well as a world-based menu which can be navigated by the keyboard or by the gamepad. Next, we see how to make the menu follow the view's direction smoothly. Finally, we see how to implement the look-based user interface using a base input module script by CCS.